the best way to end a horror film uh, would be to um, to give the audience a very satisfying experience, and um, I can't can't uh, e e think in terms of the best way uh, to end uh, or begin anything. I mean, there are no bests and worsts here. It's a it's a question of uh, does it work uh, or not work. Um, uh, I would just remind you of the famous uh, quote uh, from William Goldman, you give the audience what they want, but not the way they expect. And so what does the audience want? That's up to you. In uh, films like uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the eventual um, victory of the body snatchers over humanity is a very satisfying ending. And um, it certainly moved me and uh, the film was uh, a great success with a down ending. On the other hand, um, uh, other horror films, uh, uh, of course, uh, managed uh, to have uh, at least one character survive and have a sense of, um, of a positive ending. And so I can't say whether a down ending or an up ending is better one than the other from one horror film to the next. Um, I think what you have to focus on is in any genre, but certainly in horror, is is exactly what William Goldman said. What have you led the audience to want? Have you made the audience want this character to somehow survive or to be destroyed? The, um, there are some horror films where we really do uh, root for the monster, uh, and um, and uh, a lot of the, the Freddy films, a lot of the Nightmare on Elm Street films, uh, Freddy wins. He wins uh, number one, as I recall. Uh, they don't destroy Freddy in the first one. So um, I think it takes three or four of them, finally, to, if ever, uh, destroy Freddy. And so um, have you made the audience want the monster to win, make the protagonist uh, somehow um, survive? And um, having decided which way you think that, um, that you're making the audience uh, lean in terms, in terms of their desires, then you have to give it to them, uh, but not the way they expect. And that is going to take some uh, genius uh, to write an ending, whichever way it turns, positive or negative, so that it comes with a, with a huge rush of surprise. Uh, and yet, retrospectively, uh, obvious once it occurs, that the audience goes, my God, and they're totally surprised, and then they realize, yes, that's the way it had uh, to finally end. Um, and so give them what they want, but not the way they expect.